Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. I am trying to step out of my comfort zone a little bit, expand my horizons as they say. I watched a couple of videos from the recent VidCom USA and that is, believe it or not, a convention for YouTube creators on how to expand their channels, how to reach out to a wider audience and so on and they gave me a few hints so I'm going to try these out with you. It's not just going to be me sitting here flapping my gums talking to you. It's going to be me sitting here and also cutting out to some other media forms. And I hope you enjoy this. I am now printing some pages that would normally go on an album. These are from a wedding that I did years ago. And the topic is going to be how do you present your images on print? to people. Well, you can make a big old print. If you have a nice P800 or larger printer, you can make a big old print like this. Sign it, name it, and give it to someone or sell it to someone, hopefully. That would be the best thing to do to be able to generate money. You can get really creative, use some special software. Some people actually print on watercolor paper, then they go back with paint and brush and actually paint on top of the printed photograph or line drawing or whatever. They've actually done that. Now, what I did was I used some software to transform my shot of these Gettysburg farms and farmhouses into a so-called painting. And then, of course, I printed it on artist paper to simulate the look of the painting even more. I printed it, I sprayed it, I named it, and I signed it. And this is gonna to go to a lucky winner once I figure out how to do a raffle of some sorts. Of course, you can just frame photos and put them on your wall, as I have done here with my favorite boy, Nathan. Or you can make out a ton of proofs when you do a shoot for someone and use some paper such as this HP paper that I uh, showed you earlier, the swellable paper. This will last forever, even with dye inks. Now, most people, when you do an event such as a wedding, they will want pages designed to go on an album. Here are a couple of the pages that I did for my friend's wedding. I used to work with this young lady. She was quite an accomplished scientist, graduated from Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. That's nothing to sneeze at. And I just used Photoshop. I created some templates. I created some shapes on which you can then drop images. Basically, shapes are just magical holes or windows. And when you load your images or you clip your images, they go behind that shape and then they can be moved around as if you were looking through a piece of opaque glass with a clear rectangle cut in the middle and the print or image would be in the rear. Perfectly for that. And so here is another one. This is the reception. Anyway, I did make an album for them and they loved it. Now, often nowadays, and this was my specialty when I was doing weddings, I used to call myself Storybook Weddings by Rodriguez. And so what I would do is create these beautiful slideshows for them. And so I would like you to take a few minutes and look at a slideshow that I did on some special images that I edited of my friend Tamara Newsom. And I hope you enjoy this. We'll be right back.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little video slideshow. Basically, it was of the raw images that I did. I hope you like the edits and the way I made it look. Uh, this is something that they absolutely love, especially people now that are not so much interested in the printed form. They want something digital that they can share with their family and friends. Put it up on Facebook, put it up all sorts of social media. These little files can be saved and they actually, they use, I don't know what format they use, but they actually can be saved to a very small file size with high quality. And so they can go up to YouTube, they can go up to Facebook, they can go up to any kind of social media that will allow you to embed video. Wonderful. Now I'm going to show you the next video is going to be a video about the pages that I did. These are the album pages that I created for her. And again, this is another format or way to present your images. If you have 500 images, it's best to create pages. And then that way you don't have to print. If, what if they order 200, 300 images? Well, that will make you a lot of money, yes. But it's just so much better for someone who's going to look at an album to have them presented to them in this type of format. So here we go. Let's go ahead and look at that video. It's a little bit longer than the previous one, but I hope you enjoy it and you will see what I mean when you view it. We'll be right back.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed both of those videos. And as you saw, images can be presented in a number of ways, not just loaded straight up to social media somewhere up in the cloud. You can enhance them. You can make them even look like they are pre-framed. You can make pages such as these. You can make video slideshows. You can frame them. You can make large prints on fine art paper, sign them and let the owner or the customer frame them. Spend the big bucks on that, of course. But again, it's not just loading them up to some site and you know they will be looked at on a small device. Really, that is not the optimal way, in my view, to look at images. So I hope you enjoyed this little presentation. Thank you so much. Keep subscribing, sharing, and liking. Join my Facebook group. There you will find lots of little things that you will not find in the channel. Thank you so much again. Happy printing, everybody. Happy album page creation. Okay, explore that. And if you are interested in the software that I use for the slideshows, just let me know. And I will send you to the website where you can download the software. It is wonderful. I only use the very basic setting. This software can do majestic slideshows that you will just go, wow, but I still have to learn it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.